Okay, let's learn a dirty secret about camera manufacturers, Nikon included. Um, I recently did some video reviews on uh, the Nikon D5 and the fact that it's a loser. Um, it does have uh, autofocus speed issues and actually the Nikon D5 with the same lens was faster. They really can't correct that in a firmware update. Uh, they might be able to fix it slightly but as far as fixing it or making it blazing fast can't happen. There are actually some physical limitations. Let's first, uh, first uh, start off by saying that uh, here's a hardcore fact that is undeniable by anybody and uh, that fact is that all camera technology whether it's latest and greatest is always at least two generations behind usually three generations behind camera manufacturers would crap their diapers if they were running off the latest technology you know uh, and this is a fact too you know uh, the SR71 Blackbird you know that uh, super stealthy uh, piece of awesomeness it's like, well, you know, the Army and uh, the Air Force came up with that uh, ultra-advanced piece of weaponry decades ago. But when they finally revealed it, you know, uh, it's like, wow, my God, this thing is space age. Yeah, they actually built that thing decades ago. And it's the same thing, although not to that extravagant extreme, it's the same thing with camera technology. And uh, let's take a look at some issues uh, with... Uh, current camera technology. This is actually the screwdriver uh, motor. There's a motor behind here. It looks like a, a flathead screwdriver. It's on the front of every Nikon camera except for the D3000, 5000 series. What it does is it uh, drives, you can see it right there. There's a motor behind there. What it does is it actually drives the uh, screwdriver on uh, the lens. If I can actually find it on the lens. Anyway, there's an identical slot on uh, the actual uh, camera lens itself. Uh, there, yeah, there it is. It's a, a little slot, it's a little female slot, uh, like a flathead screwdriver on the camera body with a motor behind it. And then there's actually a screwdriver. All the D series are autofocus lenses, but there's not an internal motor. This is an AFS, it actually has an internal motor. And uh, here's the AFS motor. And it's a little motor, and uh, there's a lead leading there that goes back to the CPU contacts. It gets power from the camera body. It drives a motor on location. You can see there's little gears there. And this is when you drop a camera lens and you screw it up. These little plastic gears. Plastic! No, plastic! Yeah, plastic. They slip and grind, and then you got a serious issue, and then this motor assembly needs to be replaced on the camera. Or the motor burns up, which doesn't happen that frequently. But it certainly can have. Now these are the actual physical limitations and what the new camera technology is and it's already in existence and Nikon and Canon and everybody else will be rolling it out soon is there's another technology too that's going to be added instead of uh, the autofocus assist motor uh, the autofocus assist uh, excuse me LED uh, light on the front of your camera for sending out uh, um, a light for uh, low light situations for autofocus acquisitions, the autofocus assist lamp that sits on the front of the Nikon right here. There we go. The next thing is going to be is going to be a, a 5 milliwatt or uh, maybe even like a 20 milliwatt infrared laser on the front of the camera and what that's going to do is that it's going to allow, not for low light situations, although it will work for that as well, it will work in daylight and what it's going to allow for is ultra fast autofocus acquisition. But there still is a limitation with this uh, AFS motor. And these are on the most advanced Canon, Nikon, Sigma. All these assholes have got the same sort of technology in one form or another. Exactly like this inside the camera. Or if you're using the old D-series screwdriver lenses, they're using this technology. Okay. And that is a real physical limitation. Here is another real physical limitation. Is that there is a time differential. It doesn't matter, like on the Nikon D5, how fast it is you still have an issue with speed of focus acquisition. You still got an issue. Even on current mirrorless cameras, you still got an internal motor that's driving that sucker. So the new technology that's going to be rolling out in the next few years, how soon, I have no idea, is going to be this. First, it's going to be uh, infrared lasers. <clears throat> what you're going to tell, there's, what it's going to do, it's going to range find the subject. And when it does that, boom, I mean, Infrared uh, uh, laser range find, I mean, that technology has been around now for a, a damn long time. It has yet to be integrated into the camera. It doesn't use up really much power at all. That, combined with this, where we're going to have 
a charge disparity. What there is going to be a lot more than just the uh, seven or six that you see here. There's six here. Charge disparity drive on the lens. It's like two magnets that are coming together. How they quickly they slip together. It's the same thing. It's the technology is actually going to drive the lens. There are going to be a lot of coils around the inside of the lens, and what it's going to do is instead of you know driving it with a conventional motor like this. See, this is run. This is geared. When you got physical gears like this, you got speed problems. In here, it's going to I mean, it's going to be so fast, it's going to make your underwear bunch up. You're going to pucker up and you're going to swell your underwear. It's going to be so fast. Technology already exists. Has it been integrated into Nikon or Canon or any of these other guys? See, these I told you, these people, Nikon, Canon, Fuji, all these people would crap their diapers if they were bringing you the latest technology. This is the latest technology. This is BAM! It's right there. Combined with infrared lasers for range finding, this is the next generation of camera technology. No ifs, no ands, no buts. You know, the guy that knows a lot about motors and uh, you know field theory and stuff like that, yeah you see this, this technology has been around for a really long damn time and it is yet to be integrated into these cameras. These guys are always working two or three generations behind of what they have out. Because you've always they've always got to have new crap to sell you. They would just they would crap their diapers if they were giving you the latest technology. Nikon would just piss themselves. So would Canon, so would the rest of these guys. Ain't gonna happen. You always gotta have the technology that's at least two or three generations behind. So this is what's coming next. Deny it, you cannot, because it is unfrigging, flipping, deniable. This is next. This is 1980s technology. Screw drive on the lenses. Slow. Still exists. Nikon still makes screw drive lenses. Some of the old lenses that are just awesome. Like the 35mm F2 D-series auto. They still make D-series autofocus lenses. This is a technology on their latest lens, like this beast right here, 2470, whether it's the VR2 or not, doesn't make a difference. Still right here, you have physical gears and a little motor in there. Old technology, slow, speed issues. This is it right here. Boom, 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 boom. It can fine tune and zip to autofocus so fast you'll just piss yourself. But it isn't been integrated yet. But it will be. So that is what is around the corner. That and actually uh, um, uh, adaptive resistance technology for increased dynamic range. I've told you that's coming already, and that is coming. So that's the other technology that's coming to uh, photography. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, drop me a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy. But this is the latest technology, and it is what is coming. Okay, bye.